Hey everybody, welcome to Thursday's Thought, and we appreciate you tuning in today for another one of these little little messages that we give you. I just got off the radio, just got done pre- doing one of my radio messages, and I and I preached on Lord, take not your presence from me when David when David was uh, really repenting to the Lord over his sins with Bathsheba. And, and murder and adultery and all those things. And he come down to it and he said, Lord, whatever you do, don't take your presence from me. Let me feel your presence. Uh, that's it, folks. At the end of the day, I need to feel God. Nothing else matters. I need to feel God. You know, I, I want to say this. You know, people in ministry, people in church work, you can get so busy even doing right things that you forget what it's like to feel God, to feel his presence. Here we are in just the middle of the work week going on the downhill slide, and your week may have been extremely intense thus far. The job may have been hard. The kids may have been unbearable. uh, The bills may be mounting up, um, and everything's coming against you. You need to get alone, and you need to say, Lord, let me feel your presence. Let thy sweet presence fall over me one more time. And that's what David said. Lord, don't take your presence from me. That was the way David felt about it. And tomorrow I'm going to tell you about how Samson felt about it. Now remember, friends, this is the first day of the rest of your life to live it for the Lord. 